I can look back at in three months' time or two months' time and say, do you know what, at that point, and look, look at what I knew then, look at what I know now, and it's more, it's more accessible than, I don't know why, but sometimes just to sit down and with pen and paper isn't as easy. But also it gives him, it gives my tutor, because obviously my tutor can see it, gives my tutor the chance to have a look at, and he'll write comments on it. And if I'm struggling with something, and another student is finding, you know, finding what, finding what I'm struggling with quite easy, maybe they can advise me on how they, on, on how they go about doing things. If you're doing a group assignment, then you tend to set up or I have done in the past, set up a group where people can post things onto a wall and everyone can see it. I would tend to post notices of about when we're going to meet up, um, or if I found something that's useful that might not help me in what I'm doing as towards the group work, but might help someone else. Or if I found something that's interesting that helps me, but could also help someone else as well, then I would put that on there. The most relevant things are things like discussion boards and threads and wikis and things like that, where people can add their own content and make their own comments. I think they're probably the most important things that teachers and lecturers need to sort of adopt really. It is about providing them with the information that they need and it is also to, to in encourage critical thinking and evaluation because if, if tutors actually think about what they are posting then they can do it in a way that encourages students to read further or to look further than just what's being put there in front of them. The, you know, the virtual analytical laboratory helped me a lot, um, gave me a lot more confidence. That's um, fantastic. It was nice to know that, you know, there's something there for me just to ready reference. I've been using it and it's um, excellent. It gives me more confidence in terms of what I need to do and what I need to learn more in the university. I find it very useful um, also because when you get in the lab, you think you know something, but when you like, visually see it, you know, it kind of helps me, so when I go in the lab, I know, okay, I'm doing this. This is what it is, you know, like microscope, for example. If you asked me to name all the parts, um, I would struggle in class. But looking at it here and doing it at home, which is possible, I think. Anyway. So it helps me 